hello and welcome to tutorial for you channel in this video i will show you how to fix microsoft store not working on your windows so let's get started first you have to check three basic things before you go for the fixes check your date and time and region settings to make sure they are correct second check your network connection a stable network connection is crucial for the microsoft store to function correctly also disable any proxy setting if you have them lastly check your windows updates microsoft store often releases updates to improve your system stability including the microsoft store after checking all these things move on to the fixes method 1 clearing microsoft store catches sometimes a data catches can lead to problems with the microsoft store you can easily clear the catchy using a built-in tool just search for ws reset and open this program making sure to run it as an administrator the microsoft store will automatically open and reset itself wait for it to complete you can also do the same with the command prompt by running the vs reset.exe command method 2 re-login or try a different account another potential solution is to re-log into your microsoft store account or try using a different account if you have one sometimes issue can be account specifics so here how you can do that open the microsoft store click on your profile picture or name in the upper right corner and select sign out close the microsoft store then reopen the microsoft store again and sign back in with your account if the problem persists you can also try logging in with your different microsoft account if you have one available method 3 repair and reset Another effective method to address Microsoft Store issue is to repair and reset the Microsoft Store itself. This can also resolve any underlying problems with the application. Here's how you can do that. Search for Microsoft Store and right click on it. Then select App Settings. Scroll down and you will find Repair and Reset option. Click Repair to attempt to fix any issue with the Microsoft Store app. If repairing doesn't resolve the problem, you can also try clicking this set to reset the Microsoft Store to its default settings. Once you have completed the repair and reset process, restart your computer to apply the changes. Method 4. Run the Windows Store Apps Troubleshooter. If you are facing issue with the Microsoft Store, Windows provides a built-in troubleshooter specially designed to tackle problem related to Windows Store Apps. Here's how you can run it. Search for troubleshoot settings, then click on advanced troubleshooters. Scroll down and find Windows Store apps. Select it and click the run the troubleshooter button. Follow the on screen instruction has the troubleshooter scanned for and attempts to fix any issue with the Microsoft Store. After the troubleshooter has completed its process, restart your computer to apply any fixes. Method 5. Reinstall Microsoft Store If you have tried the previous method and are still experiencing issue with the Microsoft Store, you can try reinstalling it. I will provide two methods to reinstall it. This is the first method. Press the window key and type PowerShell and run it as administrator. Copy and paste the following command into the PowerShell. I will provide all this command in the description. This command will remove the Microsoft Store from your computer. If you want, you can restart your PC after that. To reinstall it back again, use this command. It will reinstall it back again. If this doesn't solve the problem, try registering it with this command. For this, you have to close your Microsoft Store if it's open. Then you will need these two commands. Open your PowerShell as an administrator and paste the first command. This command will help you find the package full name. This is your Microsoft Store full name. To copy this, first select it and click on enter. Then you have to add this replacing the package full name. Make sure there is no space. Then copy this command and paste it in your PowerShell. This will register Microsoft Store again. Then try restarting your PC if you want. You can try these common fixes and see if that solves your problem. If none of this works, you can give your feedback to Microsoft about your issue. I hope this video helped you solve this problem. If it did, please give this video a like and if you want to support the channel, hit the subscribe button. 
that's it for this video i will see you in the next video until then take care have a nice day